Hey all, this is Darren at GitLab. Uh, Jacqueline and I were on a media interview today and the question came up, when did we switch from Hangouts to Zoom? And so immediately I thought, well, there has to be a handbook change where we swapped out the term Hangouts for Zoom. That would give me a decent indication of when it happened. I was able to dig up a commit from three years ago. It took about a minute of searching maybe. Uh, and Jacqueline said, wow, how did you find something from three years ago so quickly? And so I wanted to make a, a quick video to show people how I use Git history and Git blames to find anything and everything that has ever changed in the GitLab handbook. And it's, uh, it's amazing from a documentation standpoint because it gives you a timestamp of when something changed, which, which then you can compare to whatever time it was in history. You can get context on what else was happening in the world what release we were on as uh, GitLab the company, what other features we were working on at the time. Really great context, really rich detail. And this is core to why documentation matters so much for us. So what you're looking at here is a view of the GitLab-com repository, which is where the GitLab handbook is found. So you can see up here the URL to pop into this. And so for my particular case, what I was looking for is the communications page in the handbook. I figured that it had a mention of Hangouts at some point and then those were swapped out for Zoom. So if I could find the commit that swapped usage of Hangouts for Zoom, I feel like that would give me a good data point on when this changed. So I'll scroll down to source. You basically have to find the page you're looking for first. And then down to uh, handbook. And it's easy to find out what this tree should look like because if you just Google the GitLab handbook communication page, you'll see what it renders on the public web. And then you can reverse engineer what those file, what that file structure is. So we're in handbook and then communication. And the home page for communication will be this index.html.md, the markdown page. So now we're essentially looking at the GitLab communication page within the handbook as it is current today. Now there's two buttons here at the top that are of interest. One is blame and one is history. So we'll dig into history first. If you click history here, it's gonna take you into the historical look of this page. And you can see here in the file tree exactly where you are. So if you wanted to change this to a different page, just go find a different page and then click the history and then you'll be in. Now this is a chronological view of the commits that were made to this page. So you'll see one was made on June 3rd, June 2nd, a couple, May 30th, so on and so forth. And so this scrolls all the way back and you can scroll for a very long time and see all of the commits that were made to this page. Now, what I first did here is I went to the search box and typed in Zoom. And it brought up some commits and then it stopped at 2017. So this was around three years ago. And I thought, well, maybe that's my answer or maybe it's just not searching back far enough. So as a secondary data point, I wanted to see if I could find anything further by going to the blame. So we'll go back to the overall index page here. Uh, see, we're in commits. So we'll pop back out to here. There's almost certainly uh, a quicker way to get there, but I'm still learning my way around as well. We'll go down to handbook. Communication. Index. So once you're back on this repository page, you can click the other button beside history, which is blame. Now, a blame is a way to look at when the last time any given line of code in the repository was changed. So you'll see here how in the blame view, every single line, line one, line two, line three, and so on and so forth, they have an associated blame beside it. So you can literally go line by line on an entire page and figure out what the last related commit was to that line. So what I did here is I knew that there was a line on this page that says, we prefer Zoom. 
right here, line 492. And then if you go over to this icon right beside the line, it says view blame prior to this change. So I went here and now I'm taken back in time and you'll see a bunch of commits that are lined up here from three years ago. So I clicked on, and so I noticed this first one was three years ago and it's at line one. So that gives me an indication that the page was actually created in this commit three years ago. So I go to this commit and sure enough, you can see right here, this communications index.html, click to expand, it's all brand new. All of this is in green, which means it's all a net addition. So what I determined here was this page was created in its current position by this commit three years ago. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that we switched from Hangouts to Zoom three years ago. It could have been that the referral to Hangouts was in a different place in the handbook three years ago. And I just don't know where to look. So as a third data point, what I'm gonna recommend is going to the random channel and then asking if there's anyone that's been around at GitLab long enough to remember around the time that we switched from Hangouts to Zoom and that would be a nice third data point. But you can at least use this to get somewhat close to figuring out when something changed and that'll give you some contextual history around that. So I'm gonna put this in the handbook and hopefully this was useful to you. And if you Google GitLab blame and GitLab history, you can find some more of the technical nuances of what a blame and history are. But for the non-technical users, it's a really great way to quickly find when something changed in the handbook and give you an idea of what was going on and what happened just prior to that change.